Wong. Hey you all, it's Shelly Wellness here and welcome to The Mindful Plates. Today I have a special treat for you. We are making guacamole. However, not just any guacamole. This guacamole substitutes avocados with green peas. Why? Well, some of you are worried about the fat content of avocados and some of you just can't eat avocados. Whether it's an allergic reaction or you got pregnant, had a baby, and that baby changed your taste buds forever. Trust me, I have met many women who used to love avocados and now post-pregnancy have not been able to eat them. But you know what? You know how I feel. Listen, just because you're switching your diet does not mean you have to say goodbye to everything. But today, I have a guacamole for you that's just gonna hit the spot. Let's get into it. Hey, I'm your host, Shelly Wellness. I'm on this journey to elevate our consciousness around food, and I invite you to join me. On this channel, I'll share recipes created with mindfulness, rooted in wellness. Welcome to the Mindful Plate. All right, so to make this guacamole super easy, y'all, you're gonna start with thawed green peas. So these are the regular green peas that you get in the frozen food section. Take a bag of that, thaw it out, and you're gonna pour that into your food processor. And when you put it in your food processor, you don't wanna overprocess. You don't want it too creamy because we're gonna process it just enough to break it down and then we're gonna remove it and we're gonna finish the rest of the process. I'm also gonna add a little bit of garlic in at this point because I wanna kind of flavor it with garlic. Uh, but this is optional, you don't have to do this. Y'all, this is gonna be the easiest guacamole appetizer side dip to make because you're literally just processing it. And once it's all processed, as you see, we keep it a little bit chunky. Now we're just gonna add in our tomatoes, our red onion, our cilantro, our green onion, our jalapeno, our garlic, some salt, and some lime juice, and we're good to go. So at this point, you're just adjusting the flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And some of you might be wondering what type of cilantro I use. Well, there's that kind of standard cilantro, but I love the flavor of culandro, which is also known as charanbini in Trinidad. And it just has a rich, deep cilantro flavor that I find that a lot of the conventional cilantros in the store don't quite have. So y'all, that's it. It is just as easy to come together. And I like to serve mine with root chips because corn chips are starting to give me a stomach ache. I don't know about y'all, but I think that there's something about the use of the GMO corn that causes a lot of upset in my stomach. So I don't really mess with that too much, but these root chips hit the spot every time. And I love the colors. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> yes. There's a freshness that this has. It's so bright. I mean, if you've ever had green peas and you know it's a very much of a spring type of vegetable. And mmm. It just has a light brightness to it, which I love. Now, if you're not averse to avocados, then you could also put avocados in here or just do guacamole regular. But if avocados are giving you a problem, give this a try. All right, you guys, I will see you next time. If you want the recipes, the exact measurements that I use, be sure to subscribe to the newsletter. But if you already have your own guacamole recipe, use that and just substitute peas. Mm -hmm.